oh my God, when creativity and ideas hit and you have more than enough topics in your head for the next 50 shows. Yet when it comes down to scheduling your live stream, you suddenly draw a blank. Ever been there? I think we've all been there. Let's talk about how you can sort out your ideas, make sure you don't lose them and put them into action. Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEvie.com and I am a business efficiency consultant. And I am here to make running your business way more fun and exciting so you can focus on all the fun thing rather than threading all of the admin crap. So if you wanna make running your business interesting and fun again, go hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And before I dive into the nitty gritty of sorting all of those ideas in your brain, how to do that in ClickUp, how to make them actionable steps, I wanna let you know if you are a live streamer and you are ready to clean up that mess, that admin work for live stream often is, make sure to stay till the end for our announcement and join us in our workshop at the end of January. But now let's dive into this craziness of live stream brain, getting all the ideas, sorting them out and using them in ClickUp to actually make them actionable and happen. First off, I wanna let you know, do not, please, do not put your ideas as tasks into ClickUp. This is not where the process is starting. You're just gonna build a huge mess in your ClickUp with tasks that don't have any due dates, that are just ideas that still have to be washed out. This is not the process for ideas. This is the process of how to get those done. That's when they become tasks. But let's start in the beginning. There is two ways how you can start collecting your ideas when they are popping up so you have them ready to go when you are ready to actually do something about it. Version number one to handle all of your ideas is a dashboard. If you haven't dealt with dashboards before, it's that little square gizmo over here. And I have a daily brain dump, as you can see. New Year's kind of put a kink into my daily method of operation. We're starting again in January. We've gotta get back on track. But my daily brain dump allows me to go in in the morning, in my morning process. If you haven't seen the video, I've talked about my daily routine right here, which is more the personal side of things. That then feeds into the business side of things, which means in the morning I need to do certain things. And part of that is my brain dump. All of the notes I have everywhere and voice notes and, and white book notes. I'm like, you, you don't want to even see that whiteboard right there because it's full as hell and I need to pull the information I have in there and plug that in here. What you do here is you really just use a text widget. So you go up to the top and you find your text widget in here, really just the text block. And that's what you plug in here. What I did is four corners. One is for my business and internal projects, things that pop in my head, things that come up client and external projects, things that need to get done. Oh, I forgot about that one. Oh, I still need to invoice that one. Just when things pop up, you throw them in here. And another part of this is my video ideas, meaning every time a idea pops in my head or a client asks a question of how does this work or how do you do this, they should go in here. I say should because as you can tell, as of late, I've been really bad about it. With a section for YouTube videos and in my case, live shows. Now, if you run multiple live shows and you really just want to do a dashboard only for your live shows and you run four live shows, do a daily brain dump, which is just focusing on video. You got live show number one on top left, live show number two on the top right and so on. Really just a simple text widget that's implemented here for you to brain dump in. Why? Because the moment you are ready to actually act on them, you just pull those out here and make them a task. You really just do one of those and you say, new task, where does it go? What list is this supposed to get into? In this case, it would be my content creation and then either way, YouTube or the Techie Thursday or the Automator Dominate. Those are my two live shows. This process allows you to just brain dump. When the ideas pop up, you throw them in here. You then look at those ideas. Do they make sense? Are they implementable? When do they need to be implemented? When does it fit into your content plan? Does the topic actually speak to your audience? 
actions. This is why you need to collect information first before you make them a task. Now, the secondary way of collecting your ideas, this was the dashboard, another way to collect your ideas is if you have my social media space, you already have seen this before, you already might have implemented this template. If not, it's right on my academy. It's only like 19 bucks on sale or something like that. In the content creation folder, not necessarily down here, put it up in the folder because you want to sort out which show it goes to or when YouTube or whatever, go on the upper level. It really makes more sense rather than in this idea stage going down to where are you actually going to publish it. In this idea stage, you always want to be up high. Now, as you can see, I literally just plugged in a new view, which again is a document view with video ideas. That's it. It's right in the content space, video ideas. It's a, again, just a document. It's just a collection of text. And what you do is you use those headers. You get those headers by doing the forward slash and then just finding your banners. That's how you easily visually can control your content. You have like a header on it. You can do even more if you want to. I like the banners. and. You just dump ideas where you think they fit for your YouTube, for one of your live shows, for another live show. And again, once you are ready to take action on this idea, you mark this puppy and you say new task. Cool. Where is it going? OK, this is actually going on my YouTube channel. This is going to be a recorded video. You click it and you make it a task. Now assign it. Um, you can do your time estimate with it and all the things that you know from creating tasks and you just say create. And now guess what? It created the task in my YouTube list. There it is. That simple. Now to reiterate, do not, when you are in the idea stage and you are coming up with ideas, do not make them a task yet. They only become a task when you are ready to take action on that. And once they become a task, you set a due date with it. You put your workflow underneath that's happening with your video. You add your workflow to it that hopefully is a template, no matter if it's a live show or if it's a YouTube video. And the moment you are ready to film and to take action on that specific topic, that's when it becomes a task not before, or you're just going to clutter up your task list. You're going to look at it and you're going to be like, oh my God, I have so much to do, which it's not. It's just ideas and it's just clearing out your brain. Now, before I tell you about all of the workshop that we have coming up, which by the way, is going to be freaking amazing. A little pro tip when you are using the document for your live show. So let's jump back into the document for the video ideas. The nice thing here is you can have a document running as just a collection, just the brain ideas. Now you can put pages underneath there. Now, if we add a page that could become the topic of how to manage your live stream guests. Cool. Now suddenly you have your script or your run of show in the same place. You don't have to look anywhere. You don't have to go all over the place. You don't have to where did I what? How? Where is that going? But on that note, you're going to have to wait for the next video to really see how I organize my show notes in ClickUp. That's going to be the next video. So stay tuned for that. But if you really want to kick ass in your live streams and you want to streamline your live stream, be more organized, don't have to fuss around with all of this admin stuff. Come join us from January 25th to the 29th. I'll be running a workshop slash challenge on how to streamline your live stream. And I would love for you to join us. So go in the description. There's a link for you. Come join us. Let's kick some ass. Let's take care of this whole admin stuff so you can really have fun in your live show and just get out there. Now, if you haven't made it this far and you still haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Apparently, I'm providing you some good content. So go hit the subscribe button and the bell and you get notified every time I upload a new video.